I know, I see. I know. Hey, you right down the block. You got it going on. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You got it going on. Thank you. For real. I love I love that song. It makes me feel good. Anyway, but wait, uh, your daughter's usually with you. So we, uh, she's not here, Maven, so how's she doing? Maven is in school right now. She's yeah. 10 and a half. She's getting all A's, and she's oh, wow. doing well. That's amazing. She's doing well. Wow. I'm very proud of her. Awesome. And if you ask her what she wants to be when she's older, she'll tell you an actress. Oh, really? She knows. And she made that decision on her own. Yeah. Did already. you try and deter her or no? No, no. She's okay. been in a lot of TV shows with me. Mm -hmm. She's been in a lot of movies with me, a lot of commercials with me. And she's about to do another movie with me with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. She's very fortunate. Yeah, it's like a, a built-in apprenticeship. She loves like, you. She I love, loves you. I love her, too. She'll never so forget sweet. the time she was here. Oh, well, she'll be back with her own movies, okay. doing her own thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. We never talk about music, which is so odd for me, like, with you. And I want to know, like, who do you listen to? Like, what do you listen to? Or, like, a go-to karaoke or something? I love the, the, my greatest song ever was We Are The World. Oh, yeah. Did you see the documentary? They just did a yeah, documentary. Man. Yeah, that, that, I thought it was just, I cried the whole documentary. I watched it, and I remember when it, when that one song, they played around the whole universe, the whole world yeah. at one time. And I watched it with my dad, Yeah. and he was crying. So when I saw the documentary, I started crying, because I remember that moment, mm. and I remember my dad and everything. Yeah. And it was I incredible. Seen, I want to see it so badly. I haven't they seen were, They were I'm, doing something together for, for a great cause to stop starvation. Yeah. Nobody if they do it starve. again, I'll totally show Nobody up. Nobody should starve. Yeah. Oh my God, absolutely. It's not right. A absolutely. Well, I want, I want to know uh, what you love about some artists because I know you love music. So I'm going to name some and you let me shoot, know. Okay, shoot. okay. Prince. My biological uncle. <laughs> That's what it, okay, Louis Armstrong. My great, great grandfather. <laughs> you are related you know, to you everyone. Know, I did, I did him. I was gonna do his movie, because I know how to sound like him and everything. Ah, uh -huh. I love Louis. And I did a 20 minute, 11 minute film for the studios, and I did everything. Yeah. It was Armstrong, because his, his story has been neglected for a long time. Yeah. He was bigger than Michael Jackson. Al You're Capone dead. ran him out of out of uh, uh, America. What? Can you make Capone, this documentary for me? Because it's playing. Al Capone ran him out. I mean, why? It's just great music. What's well, the... Al Capone wanted him to play at his club, and his manager was a gangster too, and said no. Oh. So they were gonna hit, get him hit. So he had to leave America. I'm so glad I'm just a boring pop star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my life is so boring, and I love it. Um, okay, wait, Stevie Wonder. Magical. Yeah. Oh. Good word. Magical. Good word. What about what about the Bee Gees? The Bee Gees? Yeah. Incredible. I mean, look at this picture. How can you fight that? Listen, as a young black man in America, I listen to them. You hear that voice? Oh, it's so good, yeah. How deep is your love? Deep is your love. That's when they you made me, the writing was great. Yeah. That's when the writing was, music is different now. Yeah. The writing was great. And then the way he sang it was incredible. I think writing is different too, like musically speaking, just because people are so, and this is affected with, affected by like with movies, TV, all that, any kind of entertainment, people are so, um, it has to be now, it has to be, you know what I'm saying? Well, that it's, comes from the internet and all of that, microwave, microwavable, everything is instant. Yeah, everything is microwavable, that's a good, Everything yeah, is instant. Yeah. And when we were coming up, it, it, it took time. You yeah. sell no wine before it's time. I'm Asti Spumante. <laughs> Do you need me on ice? Wait, I have, I have one more. Michael McDonald. She came from somewhere back in a long time. <laughs> Michael McDonald, his voice was different. Yeah, it definitely and is style. You zone, never yeah. forget it. When you hear his voice, you know that's him. Yeah, it's so good. I know that you're touring right now. And whenever I'm on tour, like, some nights are just better than others. Like, have you had, like, a favorite night so far that the audience, you were just really feeling the energy? I love doing Vegas. Yeah. I love doing Vegas. Well, everybody's Vegas. there for a good well, time. Well, live, recently, live was North Carolina. They were all the way live. And then I was no giggling. It was gut-busting jokes. It was <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, there's dying, certain shows. Laughing, yeah. And you love it, and it sticks with you. See, but you got to understand. I don't never remember the, the standing ovations and all that. I remember the bombs. 
Because that's when I learned. The winner don't, the winner celebrates. The loser's going back to the dressing room and cursing God out and all of that. Yeah. He has to learn. He has to go back to the drawing board. Yeah. So when I had those shows coming up, when I first started, is where I learned. You have to learn to be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, your friend Martin Lawrence, y'all had, he challenged you. Y'all used to do like a game where he would like pick an item and like put it on the table, right? Martin, my boy, Martin is my OG. He would do that sometimes. When I first got on the show, he would test me. He would like put an orange on the table and say, find out what's funny about that. And I would sit there and look at the orange for an hour, two hours, and try to find out what's funny about it. It's an exercise to keep me sharp and like that, quick with it. I, I, I find myself to be quick with it. When I'm on stage, I don't even gotta do material. I could do an hour off of my head. I know, but that's the best kind of comedian, though, is you're living in the moment yeah. and it's very present. Yeah, you I gotta love stay that. in the moment. Yeah. Always stay in the moment. Yeah. No. Even I... y'all, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Because if you don't, you're going to miss something. If you don't, you're going to miss something. I know, you got to stay And you don't want to miss nothing. Especially when you got this, to just, to just. Um, so, wait. No, trust me. When Kelly's on stage singing, she's in the moment. Oh, Sometimes I... y'all are just there for timing. She's in the moment. She's singing from her heart. It's like Marvin Gaye. He only sang when he felt like it. If I don't have nothing to say, I don't go on stage. Yeah. I'll be with my family. I'll be with my kids. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. You gotta so be I inspired. I have something to say. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking about, though, in the break, like, you you worked here at 30 Rock for, what, seven, eight years? You seven were here? years. Seven years? I was on the show. What were, like, your favorite places? Because I found out about the basement, and I was, like, I, my mind was blown. No, no. My yeah. favorite place is on, being when I was on Saturday Night Live yeah. was those stairs you come down when oh, you host. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Richard Pryor came down those stairs. Eddie Murphy came down those stairs. Yeah. Marlon Lawrence came down. Uh, uh, everybody. Yeah. Gene Martin, everybody came down those stairs. And it's I like an honor those... to get to do it. Yeah, I came down twice. I hosted yeah. twice. I hosted one time when I was on 30 Rock, then I hosted another time after my accident. I hosted it. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's a, yeah, that's an honor. I, I, I hear that you had a, Lauren's office was actually just like one of your favorite places too, right? Lauren Michaels, that's where you go when you first get the job. He has to have a skull session with you to know who's, who he's going to be working with. Yeah. You don't want to be working with anybody who's going to snap or go crazy. You, you want someone that's pretty much settled. Or maybe so, you do. That's fun TV, too. <laughs> yeah. Our bond was off of children. I had my first son when I was 17. Woo. I was 17 when I had my first son. I mean, we couldn't afford a puppy, and Coney Allen was fresh out of go goldfish. <laughs> oh, my God, fresh out of goldfish. <laughs> So I gotta have love, you know. Oh I God. gotta get some love. Wait, so what I have about my son. what about the Rainbow Room? Do you have any any memories? From I that? have. I saw God bless the dead. I saw my boy DMX performing there. Yeah. Live. Oh, that's and cool. And he was incredible on stage. Yeah, it's a cool room. I love the Rainbow Room. Yeah. We did a photo shoot up there for Thirty Rock too. Yeah. And I, did I got an to hang out with my, my cast. Cool. Yeah. I heard that you recently did Finding Your Roots. I did something similar to that, and I. It just took me by surprise. Did anything take you by surprise? Everything took me by surprise. They went back 400 years on my father's side and 400 years on my mother's side. And I just found out my great-great-grandfather was in World War I. That made me break down and cry. I mean, everybody has done it. Barack has done it. Oprah has done it. And no matter who you are, once you do it, you're going to break down and cry. Once you find out about your ancestors. And yeah, my great, 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 great grandfather's name was Abraham Mack. Then I found out through that that Nas is my third cousin. I heard about that. Yeah, oh, that's cr and you're friends. And me and Nas been friends for 15 years. Did, did you well, call I, him after yeah, you found that out? Yeah, on the way home, I called him on the West Side Highway and I said, yo, Esco, guess what? He said, what's up, Trav? I said, yo, we, we relatives. I just did find my roots. He started crying, I started crying. Oh. And then I said, if you ever need anything from me, cuz I'm there. He said, if you ever need anything from me, cuz I'm there. I said, I love you. And that was it. Now we family. You are, every time we have you on here, you are all heart. And I love it. You make everybody laugh and we think, oh, you're hilarious. I tell 400 people a, a day I love them. Yeah. Strangers. Well, I'm like, you run into 400 people a day? Cuz I love you. Not enough time. Nobody's getting hurt. Yeah. Nobody got hurt. Every, some people need to hear that. There's somebody out here to love you, man. 
Yeah. You don't and know where people, people are in their lives. Hear it. Yeah. You know, some people. So it's some people thing. don't don't appreciate that. They like don't enter my center. Stay, you know. Yeah. You don't know me. How you gonna love me? And yeah. Nah, man, love is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely, and it's free. It's That's, a beautiful, yeah. and it's free. Don't cost nothing. Yeah. Well, we need to take another quick break. Tracy is currently on a nationwide stand-up tour. For tickets, head to his website.